opportunity for me. Sherry made a comment earlier, with or without us, For Life was going to be very successful. I felt the same way. So real quickly, I made that decision that this is for me. You have to decide if it's for you. You understand? Once you make that decision, and I think you made it because you're here, right? Yes. So now that you've made the decision, what are you going to do? Just like when I made the decision, what was I going to do? So the first thing I did was I thought, okay, I know nothing about transfer factor. I know nothing about for life. I do know about network marketing, but if I'm going to go out and share this with people, I better know what I'm talking about, correct? And guess what? I don't care how smart you are. You can know everything about transfer factor. You can know everything about for life and network marketing, but you only get seven seconds. When you say hello to somebody, you get seven seconds. They will make up their mind. Believe it or not, in seven seconds, if they're going to join you or not. Okay? So it's not about how smart you are. You understand? But knowledge is important. Why? Because it makes you look good. People think you're smart. Okay? Seriously. So what I did, I took the time first to study a little bit. Not a lot. I did it in three hours. I give most people three days. You study your company and you write down on paper what you like about For Life. What, why did you join For Life? What's the reason you joined? Me. The number one reason I joined was David Lizenby. It was very simple. I believed in him. So those seven seconds that he had when he talked to me, I bought into his idea. I bought into his belief of taking transfer factor of the world in those seven seconds. You with me? So when you talk to somebody, you get seven seconds. What you're trying to do is just win their trust. If they trust you, and they feel that you know what you're talking about, in those seven seconds, they'll make a decision whether or not they're going to buy a product from you or join you in your business. So what did I do? Number one, I studied a little bit in a few hours. I wrote down on paper eight bullet points about For Life. Why did I join For Life? Eight things. One, I joined For Life because one of the important reasons for me was they manufacture their own product. They don't go out somewhere, buy a product and sell it. They make their product. I like that. We're not just a marketing company. We're a manufacturing company. We control everything. I like that. One of our most important pillars in For Life is science. We are a scientific company. Our products revolve around real science. I like that. We have our own laboratories. We do our research. This may not be important to you, but trust me, as you build a business, you become very glad. Glad. I'm going to buy business. Very glad that makes such a great product. At the end of the day, you have to stand on your product, okay? Now, I know people will fall in love with our products, but they still have to believe me first. You with me? So, when you talk to people, all you're trying to do is gain their trust, all right? Now, the second thing I encourage you to do, number one, was to get all that information in your head, all right? Write down on paper eight to 10 points about four like the company. Learn the transfer factor story. How do you learn it? Simple. Google the man who discovered transfer factor. Just Google him on your phone. H is in Henry Sherwood Lawrence. Google it. Read about him. It's all on the internet. Then once you understand what transfer factor is, you can talk about it. But you can't talk about it unless you know something about it. Am I right? Learn about it first. Okay? It may take you an hour or two. So you know about your company, you know about your products, and, and we got a lot of products. Pick two and study those products. Read the profiles. Get to know them. Get to know them like your child. Seriously, everything about that product. And then pick another product and master that product. Okay? 
Now that you have this information in your head, you've got to talk to people. And guess what? What we always tend to do is we go to the people that we know. It's usually our family, our friends, our co-workers, and guess what they do to you and to me? They kick us, all right? A lot of times, they make us feel bad. You know what my dad told me? Why don't you get a real job? Seriously, why don't I get a real job? Well, my dad's an international diamond before I left today. He's 82 years old. So, he now realizes I didn't need a real job. I don't want a job. I hate jobs, all right? Jobs mean you're, excuse me, but if I have a job, I'm a slave. I don't want to be a slave. I want freedom. I'd rather go where I want, when I want, how I want, and with whom I want. Okay? That's pure freedom. So, I don't like a job. I want freedom. I go talk to my family, my friends, my neighbors, and they make fun of me. Most people would quit. I didn't quit. Guess what I did? I turned it around. I thought, you know what? If they're going to make fun of me, I'm going to use them to practice. And I called my dad, my brother, my grandma, all these people that might tell me to go get a real job, and I practiced on them. I called them up and said to my brother, Dan, I started a new business. Can I tell you about it? Well, what brother's going to say, no, leave me alone? He said, sure, what is it? And as I was telling him, I knew that he would be negative. I knew he might say something bad about it. Whatever. It didn't matter. I was practicing. So practice on your family. Practice on your friends. And it's okay if they say no because you're practicing. But you know what? All you need is one person to believe you. One. And I'll give you an example. And this is, if you're going to take something away tonight, take this away. The most important lesson of all. You must decide who you're going to be and what your role is in for life. What, where do you fit in? Okay, you're going to be one of three people. When you join for life, you can become a scout. Here's what a scout is. Here's a scout. I'm going to come over here. And, what was your name? Man? Adika. I'm David. Nice to meet you. Adika, Adika. Okay, Adika. Adika, do you know 10 people that I don't know? If I asked you, could you take me to 10 people that you know? Do you know 10 people? I don't know them, correct? But you do. Therefore, she is a gold mine. She knows people I don't know. Now, if I talk to Adika and she's interested, my job is to get into her people. Guess what? The people that know her are going to judge her, just like my people that knew me judged me. Are you with me? Yes. yes. But can her people, if she took me tomorrow, and, and on, on, on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I stay here in KL, you take me to all the people you know, and you introduce me, and just say you met a new friend, his name is David, he's your business partner, and we're going to work together, and I'll do the rest. Pretty good deal, huh? All you got to do is take me to your people. That's what I did. I asked Jeff Outgill. Do you know Jeff? Yes. Come on, you guys met Jeff? Yes. yes. Thank you. Jeff, he, when he joined For Life, I said, Jeff, just introduce me to your people. And that's what he did in the beginning, you see. And now I had a lot of work to do. Because he was introducing me to 10, 15, 20 people a day. I was busy. Now guess what, Adika, let's say that you introduce me to 10 people and we find two who want to join us. Guess what I'll do? I will introduce myself to them and I will ask them also if they know 10 people. You see? Now I got two people in your team that are willing to take me to 10 people and 10 people, that's 20 people. You see how I can get busy? Yes. And if they know people, and they know people pretty soon. I'm so busy I can't think straight. Whoa. That's what you want. But that only happens if you're willing to play a, a particular role in four life. Okay? The first role is the role of a scout. When you join Adika, if you take me around and introduce me to people, 
You're like a scout. You're scouting people. Are you with me? You're not presenting a whole lot. You're letting me do the presenting. Why is a deacon using me to present? She's learning. She's starting. But guess what? If she does the presenting, I want her to participate. But I don't want her to do it all. Why? Because they're going to judge her. They can't judge me. They don't know me. You, you see? So I come in to your people. They don't know me. I can say what I want. <laughs> now, I'm not going to lie, but is it important? I got seven seconds. Is it important that in those seven seconds, I'm professional? I know what I'm talking about? They trust me? They believe me? If I do a good job, do you think a deacon will take me to more for people? Yes. If I do a good job, they'll take me to people. And they'll take me to people. That's what we want to do. Okay? But starting out as a scout is okay. Okay, you start as a scout. Number two, you turn into a, in, in the USA we call it a cheerleader. You know what a cheerleader is? Yeah. The cheerleaders go, yeah, go, go, go. Okay? Yeah. Cheerleaders are okay. We all should be a cheerleader, but do not be a permanent cheerleader. If you want to stand on the side and tell everybody, go, no, go, no, go. No. Be in the game. Play the game. Okay? Don't just stand on the side going rah, rah, rah. All right? We all like rah, rah, but we need players. All right? So don't just be a cheerleader. Be a scout and be a cheerleader, but most of all, be a mentor. Is Sherry a good mentor? Yes. 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 Is Rasid and, and Salim, and, and are they all good mentors? Yes. So you must decide yourself. You're also going to be a mentor. Now guess what? Most of you are probably not used to being a mentor. And you're probably not used to someone looking at you and saying, you're my mentor. And you're my mentor. And you're my mentor. Alright? You must be a mentor. And what does a mentor do? A mentor is willing to do it all. Everything. Me. I'm a scout. I just sponsored two people last week. All right? I started a whole new group in Kenya. Have you all seen my Facebook page lately? We were just in Dubai, my Kenya team. Okay? They all want a trip. The gentleman just started in October. He's already doing 50000 a month. Ooh. All right? He's a doctor from Kenya. He's in Forever Living. You ever heard of that company, Forever Living? Yes. 15 years. You know how long it took me to get him in for life? One year. Whoa. I worked on him for a year. I kept dripping, drip, 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 a little bit. Gaining his trust, gaining his belief. And then in October he said, Dave, let's do it. Now he's going for it. But I've been to Kenya five times in 12 months. People said I was crazy. What are you going to Kenya for? They're doing 50,000 now. They're growing, you see. The same thing happened here in Malaysia when I met Sherry. Remember, we stayed out till 3 in the morning having saute. And Sherry, Sherry was afraid. She was with another company. She was afraid. I asked her to believe me, to trust me. She did. Thank you. Whoa. You see? That was back in the early days. Now it's your turn, you guys. It's your turn. But you must decide what role are you going to play. Are you going to be just a scout? It's okay to be a scout. Use your upline. Are you going to be just a cheerleader? Yes, rah, rah. We, we like the energy. But don't just stand there telling everybody else, go, 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 go. You go too, okay? Get in and play the game. More than anything, be a good mentor. The people that you bring in, don't just stand back and say, okay, go make me a presidential, go make me international, go make me a goal. No. You get in there and you make them a presidential. You make them an international. If you do that for your people, Guess what happens to you? You move up. The only way you will ever be successful is if you get in and mentor others and you teach them how to be successful. Okay? So let's go back real quick and review. How do you get to platinum? Number one, take time to prepare your head with some information and knowledge so you can present. Learn to be a good presenter. But while you're learning, use your upline. Use your presidential or your international or your gold above you to help present. 
And if they're long distance far away, that is no excuse. You have Zoom, you have Skype, you got WhatsApp, right? Yes. You got all kinds of ways to communicate, so there's no excuses. So, knowledge, present, but more than anything, after you've practiced on your family and your friends, get in to their people that don't know you. The ones that don't know you, you'll have more success. With. And guess what? You will be able to make some changes. Okay, I'm going to finish by saying this. Change is inevitable. You are going to change. I'm an example of that. Can you believe that I am a quiet, shy person? When you see me at home doing my daily business, I'm not an extrovert. I don't run around Woo, for a laugh. No. I, do, I go about my daily business. But I am the kind of person that if I'm standing in line at a bank and I'm waiting there in line, there's people with me in line, I'm not going to stand there silent the whole time. I'll make a comment like, well, look at the weather, kind of crazy today, isn't it? <laughs> and then they'll look at me and they'll say, yeah, this is strange. And I'll ask a question like, do you come in here often? Is the line always this long? I just start up a conversation. It's very simple. And then I ask them, and this to me is my favorite trigger question. What do you do for a living? And they tell me, oh, I'm a engineer, or I'm a teacher. And then guess what they ask me? Uh, what do you do? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> now, I got seven seconds. And what comes out of my mouth will determine whether or not I get to talk to them again. In those seven seconds, I want to let them know who I am, what I do, and give them some information so I can follow up. So, my message to you, one, have the knowledge to share with people. Two, practice on your family, your friends, and your neighbors. And understand they'll criticize you. Who cares? Practice on them, okay? Find one person that's willing to introduce you to their friends, the people they know. Get in and start working with those people that don't know you and challenge yourself to become better and better. And you know what will happen? I promise you, you will start to experience changes because those changes will only happen if you get outside of your family, friends, and neighbors because they want to keep you in a box. They look at you a particular way, they see you a particular way, and they expect you to always be the same. You understand me? You're not going to be the same. You're going to change. So, they're going to have to allow you to change, but the ones that are going to help you change are the ones that don't even know you. Can you believe it? The people that don't know you are the ones that will help you change. Sherry, you help me change. As you introduce me to all these people, I got better and better and better. You see? That's how this business works. I'm very different today than I was 20 years ago. I've learned a lot. Okay? The only way you learn is continuing. So get in with those people that are waiting to hear you. Practice on your family, friends, and neighbors, but get to the people that don't know you and get out there, be professional. Seven seconds you got to win their trust. Get out there and talk to them. If you don't, somebody else will. So, you heard the word earlier, setting your goal. What's your goal? Your goal is not your rank. It's not hitting platinum or gold. Hitting platinum is a benefit of you working your goals. That's all it is. What's your real goal? Your real goal is how many people tomorrow, Wednesday, and Thursday, and Friday, how many people will hear about For Life, this amazing opportunity, this amazing product? How many will hear it from your mouth? Okay? That's your goal. You write down the number. I can't tell you. My goal was 10 a day. 10. How did I get to my 10? Very easy. You know 10 people, right? And you know 10 people, right? And you know 10 people. So if I just got to work with the three of you, there's 30 new people I could probably talk to by the end of next week. Would that be safe to say? 10, 10, 10. If my goal is 10 a day, well, 
I got three days possibly filled up. I got my 10 very easily by working through my people. Jeff Val Gilbert, in one, one conference call, he put 10 new people up. One call, I got my 10 that day. You follow me? It's not 10 that I find myself. It's 10, if you know two and two and two and two and two, and you all took me out to talk to two people, and five of you did it, there's 10 in the day. Are you with me? So whatever your goal is, I'm not gonna tell you what it should be, you said it. But that's your real goal. If you do that each day, guess what will happen? You'll get a diamond, and then you'll build presidential diamonds, and international diamonds, and you will get the platinum. It's impossible to not become a platinum if you do that every day. And it's that simple, you guys. There's no mystery to this. It is work, but it's fun work. If you like people, and you enjoy meeting people, challenge yourself, all right? Challenge yourself. Get out there, talk to them, and allow yourself to change. You will become different. You'll become better. You're a better presenter. You develop a skill, social skills, leadership skills. I even want to share it. She's different today than she was when she joined. What do you think? You're a different person today. All right? So, embrace it. Have fun with it. You guys, I'm telling you right now, this next five years, you're going to see tremendous growth in four months. Did you know we just had the biggest month last month ever? Yes. The big 20 years old, and we're still breaking records. All right? And you're all part of it. So thank you, guys. I love you. We love you.